Well, October 15th is voting day for municipal elections and standing beside me are three candidates running for school trustee positions in District 33 Chilliwack out of, I think, 15 who are running. And seven of you share some interesting concerns that they want to make sure parents are aware of in the area before voting day. All right, now thank you guys for meeting with me. Familiar face here. We've got uh, Barry Newfield here as well and Heather Moss. You guys are already school trustees for this district. And Keda, you are running for the second time. I'll start with you since yes. you're a newcomer. Tell us about what happened last time when you ran and why you're running today. So last time when I ran, I lost by 33 votes. And so it was pretty close. And I decided that I was going to throw my hat in the ring again. And uh, because my concerns are still the same, probably even more since I've done a lot of research and realized that parents have no idea about the SOGI curriculum that's in place in all of BC schools. Now, Barry, you've been very outspoken um, about your concerns when it comes to the SOGI 123 curriculum. What, if anything, do you think parents need to know before they go to the voting booth? Well, I think they need to know why school boards were invented in the first place. School boards were supposed to be representing the members of the local community to ensure that the public schools would reflect the values of that community. Increasingly, we've seen our powers being uh, stripped away and we're being overruled by um, big government and big unions and even the United Nations. And it no longer represents what people really believe in this community. Now, Heather, recently you were uh, in articles that were talking about book banning, almost like you want to torch books in schools. I um, actually never said the words book banning. Um, but I do believe that we need books that are more appropriate because it's come to light that we have quite a number of books in our elementary, middle, and high schools that are pornographic in nature. And while throughout the, throughout the years, you know, people have complained about certain books, but, but those books in the past have been more about the content um, in the stories and the inappropriateness of the day. But now we've come to a place where this has gone completely, the pendulum has swung so far that we now have pictures of children performing fellatio on each other, boy and boy, boy and girl, girl and girl. And um, if it's not in a picture book, that would be great for the kids who don't have the reading skills that they require. So that covers them. Why are my colleagues pushing for these to be in the schools? I, I can't think of a one single good reason to be exposing children to those books. Well, that's a very good question. It's also why I have reached out to some of your colleagues who are pushing that. If we look at uh, current trustee Willow Rachel, she has a post here where she lists a series of books that we have covered that are concerning to quite a few parents. And she writes here, no one advocating book banning in 2022 has any business being involved in public education. <laughs> now, you made it very clear you never said book banning. You just don't think they belong in schools. But really, it seems as though that's directed towards you guys. And I think there's about seven of you running who are on the same page with this issue. Um, I've reached out to Miss Richelt. I haven't heard back from her yet. But what do you think's going on? Why is uh, your board so unique in that you have the, the opposite ends, which I guess is very democratic, but over this issue, it's quite concerning. Well, I spoke out against it, and they think that they've managed to silence me, so that's emboldened them. You know, I used to be a correctional officer, and we didn't ban books, we didn't ban Playboy, we just didn't allow them in the institution. And that's all we're asking. Parents want to expose their kids to that kind of stuff, they can go buy it themselves. But when we offer it free on the shelves, at the level where a eight-year-old can pull it off the shelf and look at it, uh, that's just too much temptation. That's, that's not only grooming them, it's desensitizing them so that they would never sense when they were being set up for uh, 
a possible sexual assault by a predator. And uh, we need to protect our children's innocence. It's a good thing to protect. It's not bad. Well, right after this interview, myself and Matt Brevner, BC producer behind the camera, are going to a concerned parent in Chilliwack who was shocked to have their child come home with one of these books. So you guys are speaking to an issue that is important to the people in this area. I think we should end on a happy note. People know they can go and vote on October 15th, and I will link um, more information about that in the written report below. But maybe just end letting people know real briefly something that's going good in the education education system today and why you think they should vote for you. Hi, my name is Heather Moss. I'm running for a fifth term to be a school trustee in Chilliwack. Um, I've always been a huge proponent of teaching uh, reading methodology, using scientific methods to ensure that kids actually do learn to read uh, with mastery. First you learn to read and then you read to learn and that really is the key to everything. It's the key to critical thinking, it's the key to so much of math because now math is a lot of reading and the kids are struggling. They've had two years during COVID where um, there, it was spotty their attendance and um, they've really struggled and their marks have gone down and so uh, I'm hoping that for a, a fifth term we can really push it and uh, achieve what we need to achieve for our students in learning to read. One of the things that I appreciate so much about um, the, our schools in Chilliwack is the students are so kind and so compassionate to each other. They look after each other. Um, I, I'm I'm humbled by the way students actually stick up for each other. And I think back to an assembly where um, we had someone get up on stage and sing and it was a little awkward. And those students, they clapped and they joined in and it was, it was heartening to see. So for anybody to claim that our schools are not inclusive, um, I, I would beg to differ with them. So that I, we have good people in our schools. We have great teachers and great staff. We just need to set parameters around what is and isn't appropriate. Hi, my name is Kata Jones. I'm uh, running for school district trustee uh, 33 here. I have been a teacher for 30 years uh, in the primary area with a specialty in learning assistance and um, ma major in special education. I am running because I feel student achievement is really important and that's what we need to focus on. And it seems that in the last five years, the um, FSA results have been very poor in language arts and math. And so we need to focus in on those skills also, um, I know about SOGI123, I've done a lot of research on it, and I'm very concerned for our children who are getting confused about their gender. There's been lots of kids that have come out and said, I'm so confused, I don't know what's going on. So, I think with my background, I have um, a good understanding of what education is about, and I think I would be an asset to the school board uh, as a trustee and working with the other six candidates. I have been in the schools for a while, but as a former teacher, I know that um, uh, the teachers are really dedicated teachers. They love their kids. They do the best that they can. They spend a lot of time and effort and even their own resources for their classrooms. So, um, you know, hats off to all the teachers who spend many, many extra hours after school to prepare lessons, mark them, um, help those who are struggling. And uh, I know that they do their very, very best. Hi, my name is Barry Newfeld, and I'm running for the Chilliwack School Board for the 10th time. I've served over 26 years on the school board, and people keep asking me, telling me I should resign, but unfortunately, I'm a lifetime member of the BC School Trustees Association. My greatest motivation to run is certainly not for the money. It's because I want to protect children from an ideology that I believe is damaging. Well, next week is probably gonna be one of the busiest and most exciting of my life because right after Thanksgiving weekend, I will be in the Supreme Court of Canada in Ottawa and I'll be protecting my right to free speech. The president of the union thinks that I am unfit to be around children. And now it's going to the highest court in the land. And I'm pleased to say that 
a large rally is beginning to organize in Ontario. I'm getting a lot of support from Ontario. And uh, it will put Chilliwack on the map. Uh, hopefully we will win. And people from across Canada are looking to this community for leadership and conservative social action. Well, one thing's for sure, many of you have major concerns about the sexualization of children in school. Anything from four-year-olds being sent home with masturbation assignments to teachers exposing fake nipples in front of high school students. If you want to know what type of trustees in your area are against the sexualization of children in schools, maybe take a look and you can check out our website at bcleadershipreports.com to see who we've had the chance to interview so far about just that.